Good morning, UNF. You're watching the Early Bird brought to you by Spinnaker TV. We're live from the Student Union. I'm Nicole Laura. And I'm Carla Rodriguez. This morning, we're talking about campus events. And later, we'll talk about the most popular event of the year, the Super Bowl. All this and more right here, right now, live on the Early Bird. If you've ever thought about traveling to other countries and exploring, all the while getting some college done, then think about visiting the Study Abroad Info Session today and every Tuesday in the International Center. That's Building 58, Room 3602. The event starts at 1 and will highlight how you can get started on applying for your dream semester in a foreign country. Have you ever thought about traveling oh my gosh, abroad? Are you kidding me? I spent like the first week of school in the International Center. Just, just thinking about yes, it. Yes, <laughs> I've been dying to go to Greece. Greece is Greece, a dream yes. place for me. It's so beautiful, like the blue and the white, and the blue and the white. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> and more blue and white. More blue and white. <laughs> but it's so beautiful. It's a dream, and it's an excuse to say, "Hey, I'm going to Greece to study." Exactly. Yeah. This past summer, I actually went to Europe, no. and I didn't study abroad. But one of my <laughs> friends was there, so there it was kind go. of an excuse to get hey. over there. My friend's studying abroad. Come <laughs> on, this is so beneficial for me too. No, but it's an awesome experience. I think yes. I recommend it to anybody just exactly. to get some info about it and see. Maybe and you never know. Of different places. Exactly. Just not just Jacksonville. <laughs> no, there's nothing wrong with Jacksonville, but <laughs> starting rod is so awesome and it looks so interesting. Yes. Well, this Saturday, February 8th, Oscar Productions will be showing The Hunger Games Catching Fire. The movie will be shown in the Student Union Auditorium at 7 p.m. and again at 10 p.m. The event is free for students with free popcorn and drinks. Have oh, you seen it? Catching Fire. Yes, I have seen it twice. Twice. And that's for you and me because I haven't seen it. Which that's I think is shame. crazy. It's okay because you have the, the opportunity. One. See, there you go. There you go. But now you can see the second one the on second Saturday. one with all the excitement. But it is I know so a whole good. bunch of people are going to be there. So. Mm -hmm. right, wait, i got to ask though. Are you team right. Gail or team Peta? To be honest, I love them both. Mm -hmm. I think they're both very great to Katniss and they have different aspects of themselves, yeah, different, bring different personalities. To the table. Exactly, but I have to say probably Team Peta. Gotcha. What about you? <laughs> um, Team Peta. I, yes. I don't know why. High but five. High five. <laughs> Team Peta all the way. I mean, they're both cute. I haven't read the books, so I mm. can't really say. I haven't either, but that's okay. Yeah, exactly. I know for like Twilight, I read the books. I was like Team Edward, so people were like, when they were Jacob and they mm -hmm. didn't know anything about the books, I was like, but you don't know anything. So I feel like it's the same way here, but yes. PETA all the way, I have to say. All the way. All the way? <laughs> and if you are looking for a way to spend your afternoon, how about enjoying the Cogger Matson Jazz Festival? The performance starts at 11 in Building 45 and the Performing Arts Center, room 1200. All Ospreys are welcomed to come out and support. You know, jazz is a wonderful, just music, it's very exactly. relaxing. and Stress this is, relief. Exactly. Especially. I, I've never <laughs> seen a jazz festival, which is sad. The closest I I've either. ever gone to it was like in middle school when I played in the band, but jazz, I've always been jealous of like the saxophone players because I think it looks so cool. Yes. They're like always so into it, like going up and they down. They do, and, and I've heard we've have, we have some pretty talented people mm. here at UNF. I'm, I think I'm going to check that out. I'm not even kidding right now. No, it sounds awesome. It's <laughs> it such does. a great break from homework and exactly. all class. Just relax and listen to some good jazz music. Good jazz. <laughs> all right, Ospreys, you know what time it is. It's time for our trivia question of the day. We all have seen the Titanic and love, emphasis, love, love Leonardo, Leonardo DiCaprio. Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> but do you know how many movies he's been in? I'm going to guess mm. like 20. 20. I Be would guess, but I already know, so I don't want to ruin it. Okay, Nicole says 20. We'll see. <laughs> I'm going to say 20. We'll see. <laughs> but the answer is coming up right after the break, so stay tuned. But if you close your eyes, does it almost feel like nothing changed? We are different. Society should aspire to be more like us. Be part of the first class. Get energized. Get outside. Hold on, guys. It's gonna get bumpy. 
and get moving. Experience the power of physical activity. <laughs> Join the movement at ActionHeroAlliance.com. Welcome back to the Early Bird. We're live from the Student Union. I'm Nicole Laura. And I'm Carla Rodriguez. Before the break, we asked you if you knew how many movies Leonardo DiCaprio has been in. Uh, I guess 20, but she the answer 20. is 29. 29. I'm 29 not surprised, movies. though, because he's been no. filming movies since he was like two and a half. Literally. Yes, he's been in the movie business <laughs> a long time. But did you also know he's also starred in three television three shows? Three television shows. I've never seen that just because I know Leo is such an official, like, grade A movie, movie star. star. Excuse me, I don't do television shows. <laughs> So but that's that's cool. That it's he cool had. to know though that he did that. Exactly. And 29 movies. That's a lot. Mm -hmm. He's so talented. Did you see him on Saturday Night Live? I didn't. I oh, missed it. I'm so <laughs> bummed. I saw like the little gifs of him and Jonah Hill. I heard about it. It looks so I, funny. I'll watch I that after the it. show, actually. Yes. <laughs> so will I. <laughs> now that the Super Bowl halftime show has come and gone, and so have the get-togethers, it's time to start planning your entertainment fun. I'm sure we can all remember growing up and going to get-togethers, playing some fun games, the classic board games, to the summer camp escapades. If you're curious what the five, the top ten, the top five, sorry, games must be, we've got you covered. First is the classic bobbing for apples. Bobbing for apples. And I know you thought that this was a board game. <laughs> I originally thought not. this was a board <laughs> game. I'm like, bobbing for apples board game. Did I not have a childhood and not hear about this <laughs> game? But it's literally the it's like literally basket, like the tub, the tub of like water and apples. Okay. And you you can't use your hands. Like so the you, classic like Halloween. Put them, exactly. Put them behind apples. your back and you know you bob for apples. Test your no hand skills. It's a little tricky, go. but yeah. it is fun. It, messy, but fun. <laughs> <laughs> the second game is balloon toss. Balloon toss. So this is water balloon toss. This is water yes. balloons, yes. And you practice with a partner, or you could do, I guess, more than two people. Yeah. Um, and you throw the balloon, and you know, as time goes on, you get further and further away and try I to love catch it that balloon. Though. I know people usually get scared when there's like more space and more space. It gets space intense. And freaking out. It gets really I love intense. It. It's like the intensity. And, and like, I've heard people I use eggs sometimes. Eggs. Eggs. I mean, that it can be messy. messy. Yeah, but it looks like that. <laughs> I honestly would do that and just like chuck it at them on purpose. Yes, a little Maybe bit more one. of a challenge. Maybe once or twice. <laughs> Third is charades, which charades. I think we can all remember playing. Everyone has played charades point. before. Yeah, that's a really uh, original one, but it's original for a reason because charades is a really good classic game. Exactly. Right. Very fun. And of course, Monopoly. Monopoly. The game <laughs> where you'll get married <laughs> before you finish a game. The game that never ends. Exactly, but it's fun. <laughs> There for, like it's also a classic for a reason, mm -hmm. but it lasts forever. It does. So make sure you have time to play that game. Exactly. <laughs> and the first and final game is Twister. Twister. Have behind this. Twister. I've never been that good at Twister, but I feel like with some practice, I like might maybe be like some practice. ninja maneuver everywhere. <laughs> I'm not flexible. I can't touch my toes. But maybe with some time. Mm -hmm. It sounds like fun though. It, it is. I of course of have course. played Twister. It is fun. Um, I haven't played for several years, so I probably. Can't make all the moves either, but <laughs> with some practice. There you go. It looks like fun, though. <laughs> well, while you were pretending to watch the game, we all know the real reason you were there, to see the wonderful commercials. So what were the three most popular commercials of this year? So we're just going to go backwards. Number three on our list is Beat. Ellen dancing with Goldilocks and the three bears. Did you mm. see that commercial? I did not see the commercial. It was good. I love, I personally love Ellen DeGeneres. That's why we have our little Ellen inspired mugs <laughs> on the yes. set. I love Ellen DeGeneres, so that's a good one. Number two on our list is a Tim Tebow T-Mobile contract commercial. Whoa, try to say that. That is a tongue Five twister. <laughs> Tim Tebow T-Mobile Tim Tim commercial. <laughs> oh no, it was really it good. I mean, it kind of made fun of the fact that he didn't have a contract. Yes. But it was, it, like they used it in a wise way and mm -hmm. he was very sweet to actually make that funny exactly. make fun of his exactly. non-contract situation and number one on our list is Budweiser the, the classic little, heartwarming the commercials. little puppy the puppy the is horses. so cute it was so <laughs> cute I honestly paid more attention to the puppy than I did the Budweiser to be honest yes but, I mean I'm not surprised Budweiser is number one of course, every year, it seems Every like. year. <laughs> well, speaking of some of the best games for any get-together, check out our Vine of the Day. How about it, guys? Yeah! yeah! I can't believe it's the best. So hungry. Yeah. Shut up, Alex's turn. Alex is dead. <laughs> then roll for him. How about it, guys? Yeah! yeah! Many months later. So hungry. Shut up, Alex's turn. Alex is dead. Then roll for him. How about it, guys? Yeah! yeah! Many months later. So hungry. Shut up, Alex's turn. Alex is dead. Then roll for him. 
<laughs> so true. The game. The game. That exactly. game never ends. It's so like competitive though. And like once we get the hotels and the houses going, it takes mm -hmm. forever to finish. It does. But it's fun. It's worth so it. So if you have a lot of time, then why not? Why not? <laughs> well, thank you so much for tuning in to the Early Bird on Spinnaker TV. Remember to always check us out on Facebook at facebook.com slash UNF Early Bird. And while you're at it, follow us on Twitter at UNF Early Bird. Make sure you tune in to Spinnaker TV tomorrow at 9 a.m. Have a great day, Ospreys.